Live from WTVG Toledo, this is 13 ABC Action News. Hey everybody, welcome back to our continuing coverage of the Mud Hens opening day live from Fifth Third Field. It is a beautiful day for a ball game, as always, when we're down here because the Mud Hens are about to take the field in oh, just about three and a half hours. That's when the first pitch is out at four o'clock today. They're going to start a six game streak. We, we're, we're not going to jinx the streak, but we know they're going to be here at home for six games. Three of those games will be against the Louisville Bats and they're opening against them today. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Tony Geftis in for Sasha Bray and Jeff Smith. They are no doubt sitting back somewhere having some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. Mike with the Mud Hens is here and you're going to tell us all about how exciting this is, right? Everybody's <laughs> psyched. It's, you know, it's, I'm trying to generate enough energy to fill this entire stadium because we know it's going to be packed with people in just a few hours. It's going to be packed. It's the biggest party of the year. That's what we tell everybody. And, and uh, just like we do, we made it even bigger this year by doing the downtown doubleheader where everybody's going to walk across the street and go to the walleye game right afterwards. Yeah, and it's a deal price-wise too. Tell us how it works. Well, we were selling combo tickets for $25. You get tickets to the Mud Hens game and the Walleye game. We've sold over 1,500 of those. We don't have any seats left here at the ballpark, but we still have tickets, including our bash in the outfield and also uh, standing room only tickets. So you can still get the combo right now. Gotcha. And do you think the game is going to be done by the time the Walleye take the ice? It's going to be like, eh, it might be almost over. Oh, we're confident. The <laughs> average the average opening day time is two and a half hours. Okay. So we, we did look at that, and we, we studied that a little bit before we decided the game times uh, so we're planning on it to, to be right on time but once again a sellout crowd down here for opening day I know all the Lucas County residents are very proud of this field fifth third field and it's great to see it once again and it's a shining moment on the opening day what makes opening day so much more special than even the rest of the season well it's we have all kinds of fun things that happen all year, but opening day is a holiday. Especially in Toledo, it's a holiday. People take off work. If you walk around downtown right now, it's jam-packed all the way uh, around the building here. I just went and picked up some things over at the arena. There's people walking around downtown all over the place. This place will be busy at 3 o'clock, an hour before the game. Uh, so it's a holiday. It's a different feel than any other game. All right. Well, hey, thanks very much, Mike. Appreciate you talking to Thank us. You. And uh, I know you got to get back to work, but I'm sure you're going to be having fun. It's a great job, I would think. Thank you. Working yeah. for the uh, working for the mud hens as well, but 13 ABC's Alexis means she works for us, and Alexis means business. Sometimes she's out and about <laughs> trying to figure out what's happening, and today she's looking into how the security measures are taking place and how they're preparing for them here at Fifth Third Field. Alexis. Good afternoon, Tony. That's exactly right. Security will be tight in downtown Toledo today. The Mud Hen security, they want you to play it safe if you're headed downtown. Now, no alcohol or illegal drugs may be brought into the ballpark. No weapons concealed or otherwise are permitted into the ballpark. More than a dozen sheriff deputies will be working the park today. I want people to know that um, we're here as a safety number one. But, you know, we're going to deal with the unruly fans, the obscenities, the people hanging over the rails. Um, we're going to address any type of issues around the ballpark as far as getting people across the street. And also, the officers are telling me they want you to treat this day like a holiday. So if you park your car in downtown Toledo, make sure you don't leave anything in sight. Also, if you are a CCW holder, you want to make sure that you leave your weapon at home and not in your car. Reporting live, Alexis Means, 13 ABC Action News. All right, thanks very much, Alexis. If you're looking for an easy way to get down here to Fifth Third Field, maybe a way to skip on the parking fees, you can take something called Muddy Shuttle. It is courtesy of Tarda. And to catch a shuttle, go to any Muddy Shuttle park and ride location. It's only a dollar per person each way. There are several pickup points the north lot of the Lucas County Rec Center, the shelter on Royer Road in the Franklin Park Mall, and the Kroger in Waterville, to name a few. Also, the Centennial Terrace main parking lot and the main parking lot at the Meyer on Alexis Road. Again, it's only a dollar to ride the muddy shuttle one way, but then a dollar to ride back. That's two bucks. What a bargain. All right, well, we are going to talk about the weather because that is really what is on everyone's mind, especially when you're talking about a ball game. You see the tarp behind us. They're telling us that tarp is going to come off, and meteorologist Blizzard Bill Spencer can tell us more. Bill? 
All righty, thank you very much. They should probably leave that tarp on as long as they possibly can because there's one more round of showers moving through. Remember, we have about three and a half hours to go until the start of the game. Take a peek at Live Doppler 13,000 HD, and you can see we got this one wedge right in here to go through of some bonafide showers. I'll clean the, uh, clear the screen, put it into motion. So all this stuff is heading in a north and northeasterly direction. So once this goes by, and I'll pull the radar out. What is back in here is going to be the weather pattern coming up by late afternoon. It's not going to clear as far as sky condition, but these showers will be gone. And the only thing left is probably going to be a little bit of mist, but that pretty much is it. Different look would be on Viper, confirms like I showed you. Once we get that batch moving through right now, then we're going to go down to like a mist and then just plain old cloudy. Take a peek at your current temp, 46 degrees, but 10 miles away are 57 degree temperatures that is also wedging northward it will briefly get in the mid to upper 50s then start to see temperatures falling back into the mid 40s so it's not too bad considering that yesterday we had one to two inch monsoon across the area freezing rain yesterday gusty winds we are in much better shape for that baseball game this afternoon. When I come back in just a few moments, we'll take another look at radar and, and forecast into the upcoming weekend, which looks pretty nice. All right, sounds good. Thanks very much, Bill. And remember, if you want to check the weather anytime, anywhere, you can download the Live Doppler 13,000 HD app on your tablet or smartphone. That would probably fit in your pocket a little better. You can then zoom in, even down to Fifth Third Field, to track the latest weather developments. And it's completely free. It's like having Blizzard Bill as Siri. You just ask him any question, and he's there to answer. <laughs> Stay right there, because our coverage of opening day for the Hens continues in just a moment.